Corey Swargo is here live on location in Las Vegas for Power Slap 1. We have Robert Trujillo and Emmanuel Munez. Emmanuel, let's start with you. How are you feeling going into your match with Wesley Drain? Oh, man, I feel, I feel great. Obviously, uh, I've competed with him before, so I know what to expect. I've been working on some improvements, trying to get a cleaner slaps in, more efficient, and then just more, more being able to take it and walk through him and be able to show no signs of of hurt or anything yeah I mean coming back to Vegas again I mean it's probably a second home to you now you know are you feeling more comfortable being here that you know being back again yeah definitely um, it's it's kind of all the same stuff we've already done so to be back here is just kind of another day another job yeah is there any more pressure with it being a live event versus a pre-taping event uh, you know I haven't thought about it much I'm sure when we get to the moment it'll probably be a little more a little more crazy but uh, as of now, I wouldn't say anything. It's just I go out there, I compete, I do my job, and that's it. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, you you know, you had, you had a great outcome last time. Do you have the same game plan going in, or are you going to change anything from your last match with 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 Wesley? Uh, I think I'm going to try to eat them a little bit, a little bit more. Um, where I was letting them kind of push me before, I'm going to try to eat them, try to try to make the shots look like uh, a little less. Uh, for the defensive side and then for the offense just try to like I said I've been working on trying to get to the cleaner slaps better placement with my hands so awesome man well I'm gonna go over to Robert here real quick Robert how you doing my man I'm doing well man I'm doing well yeah so I appreciate you joining me here again you are getting ready to go up against Jules Scott how you feeling uh, I'm super excited man I, I, I lost coin toss so um, I'm excited to go show everyone what my chins made of because uh, you know I got a chin been fighting forever and uh, I'm ready to show the world you know why I could take it from both ends so yeah both both take it and you know both give it and receive it now so we are going to see that against Jules scott um i hear he's trying to make weight hopefully he does so that that fight still continues i hear he's trying to cut but we're still wednesday so he's got a couple days um to actually make that happen you know watching his game um we know we, we've seen him you know commit a lot of fouls stepping penalties stuff like that does anything about his game worry you whatsoever uh no i actually don't like i was telling a few people um I feel like I got more power than him, and uh, but I know uh, Joel has a solid chin, so I think it, it might end up a decision match. And uh, you know, I'm excited for the match. Me and Joel are, are real good friends, and uh, he says it's just business out there, and we'll celebrate together after. Yeah, um, Enrique. I mean, his, his technique is very different. I mean, he comes extremely low, and he has a lot of moving parts. Um, you know, probably very different than guys that you faced before. I mean, obviously, I mean, you haven't been hit yet. I mean, um, you know, you fought Anthony Green, who is a much taller fighter. Do you think? I mean, he seems to be more evenly matched in terms of height compared to you. Do you think that that will change any of your delivery whatsoever? Um, yeah. So I treat. Uh, you know, I, tr I treated my slap against Anthony like an overhand right, which I feel is my most powerful punch. Mm -hmm. And, you know, him being a lot shorter guy, I'm going to be level throwing my hit, so I'm going to have to treat it more like a hook. And I still feel like I could generate a lot of power into that. So, I, yeah, I think I, I think the height does play a huge difference. But, um, you know, sparring MMA, I've sparred guys every, every size you could think of. So, uh, you know, I know where to land. I, I have perfect uh, precision on my striking, and I feel like that's what separates me from a lot of the guys who do, don't have too much combat experience. Yeah is uh, I know where to land my hits and I know how to land them. Yeah. I mean, you're one of the smaller guys, you know, in, in, the, in the low 150s. Um, they've talked about potentially adding a 155 class um, to power slap. If they do that, um, is that something that would entice you more or, or do you feel that you're a 170 and you'll take matches at, at either or? So they actually, uh, so that's why Jewel is cutting weight. They did create the lightweight division. And yeah, I'm super motivated because I went in ranked as a number one ranked lightweight. Uh, since Joel was a number three welterweight and he's dropping down, they, they placed him above me. So I'm, I'm ready to show why I do deserve that number one spot in the lightweight ranks. Is there any nerves going in? You know, you're the first fight of the night, um, or are you just ready to rock and roll? Uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's nerves all, all the time. You know, I just learned how to deal with them a little bit better through uh, a lot of my fights. But, um, yeah, I mean, I feel it's funny. I get a little more nerve-wracked for this than I do for my fights because I don't have no option to defend myself. I just got to stand there and take it. But, um like I said, I know I got a chin. I'm excited that I am the first fight. You know, I'm used to being in my last four fights. I've been the MMA. I've been in MMA. I've been the main event. So you know, I'm ready to just go get this one over with and get to enjoy the rest of the matches. Yeah. Well, I mean, you you and Emmanuel here. You guys seem to be inseparable, hanging out together in Vegas a lot of the time. Um, what kind of shenanigans have you guys been getting up to? Uh, for the camera, we've been doing all the good things like going to sleep on time, eating our veggies. Uh, but no, we've been having a lot of fun gambling here and there, just going out eating. Uh, like like you said, we're pretty close. Me and Robert are pretty inseparable always together. But 
you know, good for good for training, good for knockouts, and same team. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, great to see you guys. Are you guys? Uh, you guys? I guess you guys are both ready to make weight. Oh yeah. 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 Red corner, blue corner. Uh, red corner. Blue corner. Yeah. All right. Bet. I actually oh. got to put on a little bit of weight, so I'm like 160 right now, which okay. is which is nice, you know. Yeah. So I don't got too much. I'll wake up on weight the day of. Yeah. Well, I, you know, if I could do a suggestion for you, go to the Wind Buffet in the morning. We'll help you put on some weight, probably yes, the sir. best buffet in the city. So yes, definitely go check that out. Yes, awesome. Well, best of luck to both of you. Appreciate you for joining me here. This is Corey Swergos for Slap News. You know, tune in on uh, this coming weekend, Saturday, the first ever live event, Power Slap 1, History in the Making, Robert Trujillo and Emmanuel Munez. Thank you, guys.